to Notes and Fronds. My name is Sarah. And I'm Amy. And today we're going to be chatting about low light house plants. So before we get started, we figured we'd share what's, what's in our cups, what we're drinking. We are both drinking um, I, our beverages out of Pennington Design Pottery made by yours truly. So um, I am drinking Earl Grey. Uh, and I have a sweet peach tea. Very southern of me this morning. And yeah, this is... Okay, I wanted to talk about this mug. You guys should tell me in the comments below if I should um, stock this mug because all those little dotsy things dotsy are, my, things. <laughs> are my fingerprints. And so it's a slab built mug, which means like you roll out a slab of clay and then build the mug from that. Um, should I make it? I think it's pretty cool. It's a little different, huh? It's funky. Mm, Mine is very funky. like round. I love a good round chubby mug, the big giant handle. I love the size of her handles because you can put your whole yes. hand in it. Like there's nothing worse than getting a mug and you can't put your hand in it. You're like holding one little itty bitty bit. I can't stand it. No. Pers per personal preference. Yes. Enough about pots and more about plants. Okay. So you want to go ahead and kick some? Yeah. First low light plant of which there are many varieties is Sansevieria. Oh, that's a big one. Uh, yeah. You can go check out our other Sansevieria video where we cover loads of varieties and their care. But they are just a pretty chill low light house plant. I say low light tolerant because they do prefer a more bright and direct light, um, up to bright. Um, I even have some of mine in the winter and early spring months in direct light, um, but they can tolerate really low light. I also have ones that are like on a shelf in the middle of my living room which has zero light so and they kind of just chill there i just don't water those ones as often um so those are a good low light house plant yeah and just a quick touch on that like she had said like these plants are tolerant of low right. light these plants aren't necessarily going to thrive and put out a mass amount of new growth in a low light situation but these are plants that if you put them in a up on a shelf or in a corner or something they're not going to immediately die on you like some so the next one is going to be a epiprenum aureum for pothos i love me some pothos even these though you may put them on a shelf and stuff but they're still gonna grow for you they are so rewarding they just yeah they're gonna super thrive in a bright area bright and direct but they will continue to grow for you even in a darker area the leaves might be a little bit smaller um, but they're definitely they're gonna do well so uh, next one is a CZ plant which is one of the most underrated house plants it is super chill. Um, I have mine in a corner in my living room. As you can see, there's a common theme. My living room has very poor lighting. That's um, and so that one, I bought this last year and it put out so much new growth, even though it was not even in an area that had any direct sunlight or any indirect sunlight like it's in a shady area and it put out tons of new growth yeah. so that is an awesome easy also very easy not just low light it's super easy um, we mentioned that one I think in one of our previous videos on actual easy house plants mm -hmm. so you can go check that out too um, and the next one is a fern mm -hmm. um, Obviously in the wild, ferns grow usually underneath a canopy of trees. So this makes it a pretty good pick for a low light situation. Um, the only thing to be aware of is the area you're putting it in that may be low light. Just make sure there's humidity mm -hmm. of some kind, um, whether that be a little diffuser or um, it's you know near a sink where you're constantly getting steam and mist and whatnot in a bathroom. Um, and if it's not in an area where you get lots of humidity, you just mist it every now and then. But it's going to do pretty well in a low light situation. And if you do put it in a bright light situation, it might not do quite as well. So it's definitely a good pick. And there are some hardier ferns yeah. too. 
uh, like the bird's nest fern mm -hmm. is a little bit easier of a fern so and like your maiden hair fern yeah. maybe don't start with a maiden hair fern I think we've all killed one of those I killed you? multiple I always think that I want to this time I want to made it this time fern. I'm gonna keep it alive a week later it's already dead crispy yeah um, and then the last one that I have is a skindapsis. Mm. Um, I have a silver skindapsis and it's kind of kitty corner from windows, but it doesn't get any direct light. Um, and I get probably a good six inches of growth year round on that. So it's again, not in any sort of bright light and it's still putting out loads of new growth and it's super easy house yeah. plant as well They're to amazing. care for so those are a good one for that darker spot of your home yeah they're right there with the pothos and sure. being like super rewarding and just yeah. beginner friendly very easy low maintenance just so good um the last one is spathophyllum or a peace lily mm -hmm. um you have there are lots of different varieties of peace lily um there's the classic, you know, you find them in every box store, peace lilies, but then there are some, like one that my sister recently got, I don't remember the variety exact. We'll pop right. it on the screen. Yeah. Um, but oh my goodness, it is so beautiful and it's a great choice to fill in a corner of a room. It's they get massive. Huge. <laughs> and they're so beautiful. Um, so don't immediately discount and say, you peace lily, because yeah. I don't like peace lilies. They're not my cup of tea. Yeah. I found that one at uh, a wholesaler, and when I saw it, I was actually looking for a bird of paradise, because yeah. um, I thought I wanted a bird of paradise, and then I saw this plant sitting next to it, and I'm not even joking, the leaves are like at least yay wide. Wide. Not long. And then like length, like, I'm out of the shot here, okay? They're huge. Yeah. Big. And I was like, what is that plant? And I was like, I don't even care what you are, like I'm taking you home, and then later I look it up, and I was like... This is a peace lily. Yeah. Like it's gorgeous and stunning and huge. Yeah. And so yeah, they can be they can be stunners. Yeah. So a fabulous option for a large corner house plant in a low light area. So yeah, I think that is wraps up all of our um, our short little list of mm -hmm. low light house plants. And these are good tried and true low light. Like yeah. I said, these are all ones that we've personally had in our houses. And they continue to yeah. grow and be happy. For sure. So. Like ones we've had for years. Yeah. So let us know in the comments what your favorite low light house plants mm -hmm. are. Um, plants that you maybe tried in low light and they were like, absolutely not. Yeah. Um, so let us know. Make sure you like and hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching Notes and Fronts. Have a fabulous day.